This is the solution to question 3, paper 2 of the SQA's Curriculum for Excellence Specimen Higher Exam. We're given a graph and we're given a formula. And that's the nature of the formula of this graph. And we're asked to work in the first part, work out the values of P and Q. Now, on this picture, the graph crosses or touches the x-axis when x is 0, x equals 1, and x equals 4. And that occurs, x-axis intercepts occur, when f of x is equal to 0. So, attempting to find these points, the 0, 1 and 0, 4, would involve taking this expression and setting it equal to 0. And you know, when you have a product of things being equal to 0, then each of the factors is equal to 0. And this one, x minus q times x minus q, x minus q squared is equal to 0. And in this case, x equals 0, that goes with this point. x equals p will go with this one, where x is 1. The reason it doesn't go with this one is because this the curve touches the x-axis when x equals 4. And this one is what's called a repeated root. x equals x minus q equals 0 or x minus q equals 0. That's the same thing, x equals q or x equals q. There's really just one answer, x equals q. And q in this case would be 4. But this is called a repeated root. I suppose the analogy, a simpler uh, analogy is if we look at the curve y equals x squared, which comes down and touches the x-axis when x is 0, we could shift that curve along, say, by 4 units. This doesn't give the curve we're looking at, but it certainly moves y equals x squared along to that position uh, where there's a 4 there. But this quadratic in this case, this quadratic graph touches the x-axis when x equals 4 and there's a squared factor x minus 4 times x minus 4. It's a bit similar to the case here but if a curve comes down and touches the x-axis then you know there's a repeated factor associated with it. In this case x minus 4 times x minus 4. So we've got the two values, uh, let me put them up here uh, P equals 1 and Q equals 4. So let's move on now to part B of the question. And it says, find the equation of the tangent to the curve when x equals 1. So that would be equation of this line that I'm sketching in there. So we know that the curve has a formula x times x minus 1 times x minus 4 squared. And we know that this line that we're trying to find the equation of passes through the point 1, 0. So it remains to find the gradient of this before we can find the gradient of this tangent line before we can find its equation. And that's going to involve differentiating f of x to find the gradient and plugging in the value of x equals 1. So we can't differentiate this as it is. We're going to have to multiply out x minus 4 times x minus 4. So first give us x squared outside 2 minus 4x, inside 2 minus another 4x, that's minus 8x. Lasts give us negative 4 times negative 4 is plus 16. Let's then multiply each of these terms here in the quadratic by x. So that gives us an x cubed minus an 8x squared plus a 16x. And then we'll multiply each term in this quadratic by a negative 1. So we get a negative x squared, a positive x, 8x, 
and a minus 16. We then have to gather like terms in here and multiply each of the remaining terms by x. So there's an x cubed times that x is x to the power 4. We've got a minus 8x cubed, sorry, 8x squared minus another x squared. That's minus 9x squared times this x will give us minus 9x cubed. There's a 16x plus an 8x is 24x times this x is 24x squared. And then the constant term is minus 16. That needs to get multiplied by the x. It's minus 16x. So we've now expressed it as a polynomial, powers of x added or subtracted with coefficients in there. So we can differentiate using the normal rules of differentiation. So this would be 4x cubed. 3 times minus 9 is minus 27 x squared, remember the power goes down 1, 2 times the 24 is 48, x to the 1, minus 16, if you differentiate minus 16, x, you get minus 16. So there's the gradient formula. So in particular, when x is 1, the gradient will be 4 times 1 cubed, that's 4, minus 27 times 1 squared, that's 27, plus 48 times 1, that's 48, minus 16. So let's take the positive terms, 48 plus 4 is 52, and the negative terms are negative 27, another negative 16, that'll be 43, and 43 from 52 is 9. So what have we discovered? We've discovered that the tangent passes through 1, 0 and has gradient 9. Uh, remember, if a line passes through the point A, B and it's got gradient M, its equation is y minus b equals m times x minus a. So its equation is y minus 0 equals 9 times x minus 1. And that gives us y equals 9x minus 9. So this is a gradient of 9 crossing the y-axis away down at minus 9. Well, that's not bad from the sketch. And this looks like a gradient of 1, but look at the scale on the y-axis. It's about 10 times the scale of uh, the, the x-axis there. So it's not a typical uh, gradient 1. Uh, you go 1 along, you've gone up 10 which is roughly on this, which would be a gradient of 9, roughly. So yes, it fits in with that sketch, so I'm happy. So y equals 9x minus 9.